So when the Oklahoma Sooners and Nebraska Cornhuskers hit the field tomorrow morning, generations of history will flood out of those tunnels with them. Johnny Pello is a former player and a forever fan. And even though it's been 62 years since he strapped on his helmet for one of these rivalry games, he says it's a feeling he'll never forget. My first uh, knowing about going to uh, Lincoln was uh, uh, my sophomore year, and I was able to, to make the traveling squad. Memories of game day in Lincoln, Nebraska. How athletic they were and how what great players they were back then. You better be scared of them or you get hurt. Johnny Pello says the hospitality off the field was unmatched, but on the field for those games from 1955 to 59, Tensions were high. Johnny Rogers, uh, and, uh, he came to Norman and nobody could stop him. Uh, he was an unbelievable player and came into Norman and made everybody look foolish. You better be a step ahead or, or, or you're going to get it. And, and so uh, that was the only thing that I had going for me a lot is that I was the fastest guy on the team and so when they were trying to do drills or whatever they couldn't get to me. As the Sooners and Huskers prepare to revive a historic rivalry tomorrow, Pello says fans should prepare to watch history unfold. Coming to the game or going to the game, you know, is a big, big thing. But he doesn't want anyone to forget Oklahoma has a history of winning. See that'd be two years, 55 and 56. And so that was uh, really hard to do, to make it, not lose the game all the way. And in fact, in a minute, I want you to turn around and look at that picture right back up there. It's my picture right there. It's the only thing I have that, uh, <laughs> that I'm, I'm proud of after all these years. One of six players still alive from his team, Pello hopes for himself and his wife to see the Sooners in action again someday. I don't feel comfortable because of my wife to go to the football game um, and not have her there, you know. She has a problem breathing and um, I would maybe like to have that back.